Okay, this is uh, the start of my homemade pneumatic cylinder using its 2 inch Schedule 40 <laughs> uh, PVC pipe. Um, it's good up to 280 PSI, which should be more than enough for what I'm using this for. Uh, my RAM is uh, just a half inch bolt. Uh, it's smooth all the way down except for threads at the end. Uh, my seal is made up of a two inch uh, round with a half inch hole uh, fender washer. There's one on each side. Uh, the seal I'm using is actually, uh, here's one, um, it's actually from a wa water filtration system. It's the seals on both ends. They're just slightly over two inches and it's neoprene rubber which is really durable um, and it's sandwiched in between the two fender washers you can see it uh, fits very nicely quick little demonstration you can put the cap on and when you push so I think we're getting a pretty good seal so I have two two inch plastic caps um, I want this to be a bi-directional, uh, which means I'll be able to put pressure on, on either end and push the, the rod either way. So uh, one cap is going to get a half inch hole, maybe just slightly larger, maybe by like a sixty-fourth of an inch. And then to seal that up, it's more of the fender washers. Um, and then these are neoprene, basically a washer. Uh, they're about two inches round and then the hole is just slightly under the half inch so it fits real tightly around around that bolt shaft and because it's a lot thinner than I don't know how well we'll see this but it's a lot thinner than the other seal and it's gonna that's the part that's gonna get the most dirt and uh, debris in there, so it's going to be a fender wash, a steel fender washer, a neoprene fender washer, steel fender washer, neoprene fender washer, and another steel fender washer. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put that on the outside or inside of the cap yet. The outside of the cap has writing, so it's a little bit rough. Um, however, it'd be nice to have it out there, just for uh, just for if there's any issues with it. Um, I'll drill, once I get this all assembled, I'll drill a couple holes and put uh, some air nipples on there and we'll see where we're at from there. Okay, I got it. Got my bolt and the, the ram in there. See the reflection of it there. Um, and I was playing around with it, pulling it out and I noticed uh, I shaved the writing off the top of the cap because I really wanted these on the the sorry the seals on the outside. Um, and when I pulled back on it, um, I can feel the air coming between that bottom washer and uh, and the cap. So I'm gonna get some silicone sealant, or uh, or I might use this other other rubber seal and put it in between there um, and I just gotta figure out a way to to bolt it down tight uh, then I'll put my bottom cap on uh, drill my holes and tap them for my air which I'm gonna actually drill through uh, where the cap is attached um, to the, the PVC just so I have a little bit more threading there for it to grip into and so, uh, give me a little bit more time and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so here we are, fully assembled. Um, I wish I had better lighting in here, but uh, I was drilled and, and put in uh, machine screws into the plastic. They actually go into the, the PVC body. Uh, they were one inches long and the edges are just grabbing that washer um, I didn't know how great of an idea that was going to be but 
it actually smushed the the neoprene washer out between the the metal washers pretty good so I think there's a lot of tension on there um, we got both end caps glued on I don't have my fitting so I just have a quarter inch hole in there for, for right now I got my air tank in here and we're just going to use a, a rubber tip and give me one second I got to adjust my pressure okay I got it sitting at 40 psi unfortunately that's all the lower my uh, my pressure gauge goes on uh, my air tank um, it's real easy being a two inch cylinder to figure out what uh, what your uh, uh, I guess the the pounds that it can push sorry I'm <laughs> lacking the, the right words there since it's a uh, to figure out surface area it's pi r squared uh, radius being one inch so it's when one squared is still one so it's basically whatever psi you're putting into it you take it times pi so at 40 psi I'm looking at 125.6 pounds um, so here we go I'm just using a rubber tip nozzle here <laughs> that went a lot faster than what, what I thought it would. It works pretty good though. Looks like I might need a little bit more lubricant there. I'm gonna stop now. Um, there's a little bit of that neoprene washer coming out with the shaft. I, I lubricated it with uh, some both the shaft and uh, the inside of the tube with uh, just plain pneumatic lubricant. It looks like I need a little bit more of my shaft. It looks pretty dry already, so. But otherwise, I think uh, it works pretty good, and I think uh, total cost with with everything that I bought is somewhere around ten bucks. Um, you know, the fittings are probably gonna be about five dollars or whatever. So, so fifteen dollars for a cylinder that that can uh, push quite a bit of weight. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this at home, though. Uh, uh, you're, you're dealing with some pretty high forces. Um, this was just to see if I can. Don't know if I'm really going to use it for anything or if I have a purpose for it, but but there we go. My pneumatic cylinder. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel.